Okay, lastly, what we want to talk about is some new capabilities in ArcGIS Pro. Uh, in addition to the apps we've gone over today, um, Harry did show the Crowdsource Manager. That's part of our ArcGIS Solutions website, which has over 200 solutions. Some of those solutions, it can take time to deploy. It can take hours or days sometimes, and you have to know the process and how to do it. So to make that easier for you, we've created an automatic tool that you go into ArcGIS Pro, you select the apps you want to deploy, and it just deploys them for you in minutes. Then all you have to do is load up the data and get going. So Harry's going to show us how those work. Thank you, Adam. Yes. So as Adam mentioned, you know, we have our configurable apps that are built into your organization, but we have over 200 apps that Esri has created that are very specific to workflows. So here I am once again at solutions.arcgis.com. If I go to the gallery and search for something like uh, damage, I'll see all the different apps that Esri has created for damage assessment. Um, one of them is the damage assessment, and if you want to learn more about it, we can see what it is. It's a web map that also has an operations dashboard associated to it. In fact, we have a pre-configured one available for you to look at, and here it is. So it's going to show you the damage estimates in an area. Uh, you can click on any one of the houses that have been tagged as damaged. You can see what the structure loss is and so forth. So this is available to you right now. Normally, you would then download all the documentation, download the schema, and build it yourself. But what Esri has done with the release of um, ArcGIS Pro is we created a new add-in called the Solution Deployment Tool. So if I come to the gallery and search for Solution Deployment, and that, that's the, the word that you need to search for, you'll see that there's this ArcGIS Solutions Deployment Tool. So search for Solution Deployment to find it. What this tool is, is an add-in to ArcGIS Pro that will automatically take you through the process of creating our solution um, templates. Let's look at that. Here I am in ArcGIS Pro. The add-in gets installed on the Share uh, ribbon. It's right here. When I click on it, you'll notice it's just a task. It's the same thing we saw with the 3D earlier on. This is just going to step me through the process. So I'm going to sign into my organization. All right. We'll double check that it's there. Done. Now we'll go to the next step of deploy the solution template. Now, not all of our solution templates are currently in here. and We'll be adding more uh, in the upcoming releases. But if I just search for you know, damage, I can see under emergency management, the damage assessment. A uh, tip is if you hold the shift button down, you can select multiple templates at once. And then uh, I'll put this in my output folder called solutions and then deploy it. So what it's doing right now is it's creating a web map in my organization. It's creating a hosted feature service in my organization with schema that is needed to run the operations dashboard. It's creating the operations dashboard for me. It's doing all that work and just putting it in my organization. And, and it, it's really fast. I mean, that actually ran. So once we finish that step, we can move on to the next step, which is configuring the solution. Because I know each of you have very specific um, workflows and schemas in your organization. So it's within this dialogue where we can add a field if needed. Or we can even skip that step and go straight to modifying domains. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to go to my organization, my content, I'll go into my solutions, my deployment assessment, and this is the hosted feature service that was just created. I'll select my commercial buildings. And once that loads, I'm going to uh, edit a domain. Now I want to make sure we all understand what's going on. I just reached out, in this case I'm using ArcGIS Online, I just reached out to ArcGIS Online to a hosted feature service. I'm bringing that directly inside of ArcGIS Pro and I'm editing the schema of it. Inspector, coded value domains, and I can type in Amadea. Like that. And then I can delete the blank one that I was going to create and then run that. So I'm updating information that lives in the cloud right now. And the whole point of doing this is so that I can deploy this operations dashboard, the web map, and all the necessary components to make this work. So when we saw that video from Cal OES, they actually uh, released this damage assessment um, uh, solution template. Esri helped them do that. But now 
any of you can do it in a matter of minutes as opposed to a matter of maybe hours or days. And again, as we keep developing, we're adding more and more solution templates that will allow you to do this. Excellent. Yep. Thanks, Harry. All right, so to wrap that section up, the solution deployment tools add-in is for ArcGIS Pro. It automates the app deployment um, in your organization, reduces risk and time, and you can customize the data schema to match your needs. <coughs> All right, so sharing collaboration review. Sharing requires identity management and roles. Your ArcGIS destination enables this sharing and collaboration and the management of it. Uh, we've got lots of different apps. That we can include uh, various apps for sharing and collaboration. Story maps are incredibly powerful, configura configurable interactive storytelling apps. And then ArcGIS Pro can automate that deployment of apps. And again, multiple different apps, again, paired together.